And we begin with what has been the strangest year in movie history, one where we wondered if we'd even have the Oscars. Now, the producers have said the tagline for tonight is, bring your movie love. So how do you do that if you're wearing a mask and standing six feet apart? One of the things I love most about this life is that there's no final goodbye. Let's just say, I'll, I'll see you down the road. After a year that felt like the longest, loneliest road imaginable, Hollywood shut down. A whole slate of studio movies delayed. Fans alone at home watching their favorite films on the small screen. Now, the 93rd Oscars, another production working to get on the air despite a pandemic to honor spectacular work from a rising star. What are you doing? Hey, I said, what are you doing? An extraordinary debut while portraying music icon Billie Holiday. I think that was the hardest thing to overcome for me. It was the self-doubt. The last performance of a legend gone far too soon. You think I care about being fired? I don't care nothing about that. You doing me a favor. Films amplifying demands for justice from a half century ago. Are you gonna murder? That's how he spoke, man. <laughs> That's what he meant. 52 years later, we are here talking about these words. Words that speak to this moment and cannot be silenced. I am being denied right Mr. now Seale, my constitutional will you be quiet? right for will legal you, representation. Will you be quiet? I need a favor, but you're gonna have to promise you won't laugh. Careers ruptured by corruption. I think when you see the movie, you see this need for truth between two people. And catastrophe. I can't hear you, do you understand me? I can't, I'm deaf. And the need for systemic change. Because we are fighting for our lives. It's about the conversations we have when we're not amongst friends and the conversation we have when we are at home. And lives captured in crisis and transition from beginning. Pretty boy. I'm not pretty, I'm good looking. To end. Where's Anne? Sorry? Anne, where is she? I'm here. This year's Oscar nominations honor films and performances so good. They want to call me Mother Blues. That's all right with me. It don't hurt none. They surmounted a time that seemed to defy the very idea of movie going. The Oscars amended their uh, eligibility rules and standards, allowing films to debut on streaming platforms because there were no movie theaters that were open. So instead of putting soul on ice, I'm in the Dorothea Williams class, buddy. You know what I'm saying? I've, whoa, whoa, sorry. It opened in living rooms everywhere. <sighs> Christopher Nolan's IMAX intended Tenet came to a flat screen near you. You want to crash a plane, but not from the air. That was so dramatic. They're all nominated and part of an historic year. Nine of the 20 acting nominations going to performers of color. And for the first time in the best director category, two women, Promising Young Woman's Emerald Fennell and Nomadland's Chloe Zhao. When I see people who move a lot, what they're really chasing is a sense of self, isn't it? Uh, they're trying to discover who they are and where they belong. And I think that is me. And now an Academy Awards ceremony unlike any other. How often will we see nominees and presenters wearing masks? What we'll say is masks are going to play a very important role in the narrative of the show. Got to figure out a way to entertain. This is our chance to do something completely different. It's going to be a very emotional experience to be able to gather safely again. The show envisioned as a movie set of its own. Downtown LA at Historic Union Station with rigorous safety precautions, allowing nominees to come together in person to celebrate a culmination and perhaps a new beginning. We are here to celebrate that light at the end of the tunnel and to beat the drum loudly for getting back into movie theaters. Their gathering reflecting the hope that we'll all soon be gathering out of our homes and inside a movie theater once again, to laugh, to be moved, to be given memories that we'll treasure power of cinema. My dad used to say, what's remembered lives.
And the movies conquer all. Now joining me now is Elizabeth Wagmeister, Variety senior correspondent. Great to have you with us. And over at the Dolby Theater, where some of the elements of tonight's show will be staged, we've got Clayton Davis, Film Awards editor at Variety. Great to have you both. Elizabeth, let's begin with you. The billion dollar question, will people go back to movie theaters after this is over or is streaming the way of the future? What do you say? It truly is the billion dollar question. This has been a year of such loss for so many industries, certainly the entertainment industry, the good news, Chris, I'm predicting that people are going to be going back to theaters. I think everybody is really ready to get back at it. They want live events. We've all been isolated. They're ready to be there, be in the scene. But I don't think that means that streaming is going away at all. Streaming already was very much on the rise before the pandemic. Now, of course, it's boomed because we have all been home on our couches really consuming this content. But I think what this has proven is that there's so much content and that people People do want to watch it. So I think we'll all be watching movies on our couch and in theaters. And I think proof is here because less than a month ago, the latest Godzilla film came out and it is nearing $400 million at the worldwide box office. That's a legitimate turn at the box office, not even just a win for the pandemic. And speaking of watching things on couches, Clayton, what do you think were some of the key factors which led the Academy to ensure that we would have a live in-person Oscars this year? Well, first of all, it's great to see you guys. I'm glad that we're all wearing clothes finally because we've all been home for a year. But I'm here in the Great Hall where all the best picture not, uh, winners of all time, all, 93, all 92 years prior, are listed here. And it's been my, one of my dreams just to make it to the Academy Awards. 36 years, but they're over there at Union Station. Early on, they knew they had to make the call to whether, whether or not to hold a ceremony or not. And I'm glad that they did art cinema movies they saved us in this year of the pandemic that has been so hard on everyone but we were all finding connections through the the things that we were watching on television and the things we're watching on our streaming platforms we were able to find that little bit of connection in a year that's been you know quite difficult so i'm just glad that they ended up moving forward and now we have this great year of cinema to celebrate Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.